The 1990 Strange Ways Prison Riot was a 25-day prison riot and rooftop protest at Strange Ways Prison in Manchester, England. The riots began on the 1st of April 1990, when prisoners took control of the prison chapel and quickly spread throughout most of the prison. The incident ended on the 25th of April, when the final five prisoners were removed from the rooftop. One prisoner was killed during the riot, and 147 prison officers and 47 prisoners were injured. Much of the prison was damaged or destroyed, with the cost of repairs coming to £55 million, equivalent to £133 million in 2021. It was the longest prison riot in British penal history. The riot was followed by a series of disturbances in prisons across England, Scotland, and Wales, resulting in the British government announcing a public inquiry into the riots, headed by Lord Wolfe. The reasons for the riot had to do with overcrowding, inhuman conditions, and mistreating the inmates. The two key players that created the riot were inmates Paul Taylor and Alan Lord. Once getting control of the guards, the inmates headed for the roof and started mocking and taunting the officers on the ground. At this moment, inmates began destroying the prison, setting fires in certain areas, removing parts of the roof, etc. Even after firefighters tried to get rid of the fire and officers attempted to barge in, there were just too many rioters to control. So, the officers waited. They waited for 25 days, and the rioters were still on the roof, ignoring their hunger and fatigue. When officers broke into the prisons, they discovered that the place was a total disaster. The resulting Wolf report concluded that conditions in the prison had been intolerable and recommended major reform of the UK prison system. The Guardian described the report as a blueprint for the restoration of decency and justice into jails where conditions had become intolerable.